Hi guys, how are you doing? I hope you're doing very, very well. I'm sure that everyone is aware of what is happening around the world. It's it's a pandemic. So the reason of me doing this video is because, um, first off, I don't have anything to do inside of my own home. I'm sure that everyone is aware that we are all required to stay at home as much as possible. And second of all, um, I was hoping that this would be an informative video as well aside just from getting unready with me and doing my wednesday skincare this is like a recharge for me because in the middle of the week I get a little uninspired this is just something to give me that boost throughout the week just to give myself some time to think to recharge for the remaining weeks to come so basically what i'm going to do is that for every skincare step or product that i'll be doing i'll be giving you one tip to how we can stay healthy and how we can stay safe while you're inside your own home. Let's just get started. So I'm going to use a cleanser. This is the one by Innisfree. This is their green tea foam cleanser. This is a new package. I hope it's the same formulation because I like their green tea foam cleanser because they're really soothing for the skin and it also calms down any redness and it's very gentle on the skin as well. So I'm gonna do that. Basically what I do is I apply the cleanser dry on my face and I let that massage into my skin until my face feels a bit tacky. So while I'm massaging my skin, I'm gonna give you my first tip, eat healthy. We stocked up on more fruits and vegetables instead of canned goods or any instant food. Be aware of what you are putting inside your body. You have to build your immune system. So I just wet my hands and as you can see, the cleanser is reactivating. And what does this do is that it brings back all the impurities. So I've been breaking out lately because my period is coming up. So that is why I'm taking extra good care of my skin right now. I'm just going to quickly wash off. Okay, so I'm done cleansing my face and the next thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to apply a mask. Myzon Bentonite Clay Mask. It easily dries faster and what I also like about this is the texture, grainy textures. Like this will also help gently exfoliate my skin. But before that, I also like to do a multi-masking. I like to apply a nose pad and then I'll apply the clay mask. So I'm using this one by Biore. This is their black pore pack strips. It has charcoal in it so this will really help me see my black heads and my white heads better than the white ones. A little bit of this rose water and just wet my nose. And then you take this nose pack. I'm just gonna tear it open. This is what it looks like. So the shiny side, that's where you're going to apply the mask. As closely to where my black heads and my white heads lie. So make sure it's secure. So you leave this on for 10 to 15 minutes. So as soon as I'm done with this, my clay mask is also done. My clay mask here, add a little bit of rose water and mix that together until it forms like a paste. So while I'm applying the mask, I think it's safe to say to tell you my next tip, which is to avoid going outside of the house as much as possible. And it's important that we don't further the issue that has happened. But if you really have to for getting basic necessities such as food and medicine and water, when you come back home, you have to take a shower. That is what is recommended by the medical staff because we're trying as much as possible to stay sanitized and clean throughout this outbreak. So I just applied the mask. I'm just going to wait for 10 to 15 minutes for this to dry up and then I can take off my nose pack and rinse off my mask. So while we're on the subject of trying to stay clean, wash your hands for 20 seconds with soap and water. You can also use alcohol, alcohol gel. Well, basically what it means is that you have to up your personal hygiene game, okay? Another important thing is that you have to cover your nose and your mouth if you're gonna cough or sneeze. That's why we have this term called social distancing. I know it seems like a rude thing to do. It's a matter of trying to keep yourself safe. So that is just what it is. So it's been like 10 minutes and as you can see my mask has already dried down a bit but if you see some olive green areas it means that it's still a little bit damp but um, I think my nose pack is ready to go so I'm just going to remove it gently. I mean it got rid of some of my blackheads. Looks good. So I'm just going to wash off my entire face and I'll be back. 
Okay, so I just finished rinsing off the mask and now I'm just going to move on to the actual application of the skincare products that I use. It's been a while but I updated a bit of my products so I'm just going to show you what I'm currently using right now. This is the one by The Ordinary. This is their glycolic 7% toning solution. What I like about this is that glycolic acid is such an amazing ingredient because it breaks down the fat of the skin cells so basically what it does is sloughs off the skin cells gives you a newer and stronger layer of skin this is more like a chemical exfoliation so i don't like to use it on the daily maybe i do this two to three times a week so my skin is dried on a bit from the glycolic acid now i'm going to apply a serum so i'm starting getting into anti-aging products now so i'm trying bit by bit for my skin to get used to different active ingredients and one of this is retinol so i'm using this one by nutri herbs this is their retinol plus vitamin e serum what i like about this is not only helps for your anti-aging properties but this is also good for anti-acne as well so i just take like maybe a pea size amount on the palms of my hands and I rub it in to warm the product into my skin and usually after I apply retinol I don't apply the next product immediately I just let the active ingredients sink in into my skin first so while we're waiting for this retinol to dry into my skin I feel like it's time to give you another tip and that is to drink tons of fluids I think this is a no-brainer so keep yourself hydrated guys because this will really help clean your gut and right now I'm drinking ginger tea I've been drinking every night so what I do is like I grate some size amount of ginger I put the grated ginger inside this like filtered tea bag and then put hot water and let the ginger brew for about three to five minutes this has really helped me in so many ways from my personal experience this has helped induce my menstruation this also helps build your immune system as well so i drink ginger tea every night and speaking of building your immune system i think it's important as well to strategize the supplements that you're taking so right now what i'm currently taking is apple cider vinegar tablets so i got this for from Puritan Sprite. I'm not a fan of intaking the actual like liquid vinegar. One of the main reasons is that apple cider vinegar is known to boost your immunity. We also like to take vitamin C of course. This is like optional but I like to take it just to take care of my other body systems. So here I take cranberry supplements. This is help for my urinary tract and I also like to take bite for my hair, my skin, and my nails. Okay I think my face is now ready for the next step. Another step Serum. This is the Hyaluronic Acid by The Ordinary. I've been using this and I'm totally in love. But one thing to remember about using Hyaluronic Acid is that this is more moisturizing barrier ingredient. A lot of people are, are confused. If you use this, it feels tacky more than moisturizing. That is why this ingredient adheres more to a colder weather or the atmosphere gives a bit of a moisture. Hyaluronic Acid first before moving on to the next moisturizing ingredients so after that's done i'm going to spritz my face with just the rose water spray so rose water spray is very very nice for your pores gives a little bit of an oomph and as i said we want to layer moisturizing products for the hyaluronic acid to work another tip that i would like to give you guys is the sleep so make sure you get seven to eight hours of sleep or more that's better don't ever sleep on sleep if that makes sense so now i'm just going to apply a lip mask this is the one by laneige this is their lip sleeping mask so i just like to apply this much and apply it on my lips another good tip is of course even though we're at home we don't want to like be a couch potato right so as much as possible be active like maybe in take some time to do house chores what i do right now is um i wash the dishes i clean my room i fix the bed i fold laundry if i'm not really lazy but i try to push myself to do it i do a little bit of an exercise maybe some yoga or pilates that is a good healthy way to build your immune system guys okay i'm just going to apply a lash and brow serum this is the one by skin genie I've been using this for years now. I'm just going to apply an eye serum. This is the one by The Ordinary as well. This is their caffeine solution plus EGCG, a drop on my ring finger. On top, I like to put 
a moisturizing eye cream as well so you always pat never drag it try to be more gentle to your skin the eye cream from myzon i've been using this on countless videos now finally on our last step but before that i'm just going to spit my face again I'm going to apply a face oil. I'm using this one by The Ordinary. I love Ordinary products now as you can tell. If you want me to do like a full face of Ordinary skincare products because I have a ton. This is the 100% organic cold press rose hip seed oil. So it looks like this. I'm going to apply that again, rub it in and apply that. The other reason why I like to apply face oil is because I like to use it with a guasa or maybe a jade roller. So I start from my chin, wiggle a bit. This is good for lymphatic massages and also to give your face a bit of a contour defined look and it also helps with blood circulation. And it's also relaxing at the same time. This is really like a immediately puts me to sleep this brings me to my final tip guys pray for me personally like the most important thing to pray meditate this is like the perfect time to bring yourself closer to god i pray more now i try to read verses on the bible this gives you time to strengthen your faith thank him for the blessings thank him that you're alive thank him that you are such in a good place right now despite the outbreak i know there are silver linings and have a positive outlook in life i think it's a time to reflect maybe that's just me speaking but i think it's important to just pray and to be grateful pray guys okay pray for the world pray for the people who were infected pray for the people who is suffering pray for everyone and that is my wednesday skincare routine i hope you enjoyed my video i know that i talked a lot in this video but i hope it helps you not only to amp up your skincare routine but also to keep yourself healthy and safe throughout this crisis i am praying for you guys always and i'll see you on my next video bye